All right, folks, here we are. I'm going to show you how you are going to download the desktop version of the preset. So if you go to my page, my website, head up to the top, hit shop. This is where my presets will be. This is my first one, so there's only one in there. You're going to want to add to cart, view cart to check out. Now there's two ways, I'm, well there's three ways you can check out. PayPal is an option or manual pay. You can Venmo me, Shelby Watterson, and, or if you want to um, send me an email, I can invoice you um, and you can pay with any major credit card, Apple Pay, um, anything like that. So make sure that you fill in your information because this is where your um, presets will get sent. This is the first email that you will get if you use the um, standard manual checkout. This is not the email that sends for download. This is just a confirmation saying that we got it um, and we're waiting for payment. So as soon as I get receive the payment, then I will manually accept and that you paid. So then you'll get this email. This is the, your download email. So go ahead and download right there. Now down at the bottom you're going to open up the email. We're working with the desktop. There's two in there but we're doing desktop right now. So go ahead and hit desktop. There are your two black and white and color spiral jetty presets. So there's a couple ways to do this. This is the normal way I like to do. I just go hit import, go to your download, open up the folder, desktop, go ahead and import right there and they will go into your user presets. I cannot um, download them again so just bear with me here but there they are. They'll be right there. There's your color one, and there's your black and white. Now, with presets, each picture is lighted different. Each picture has a little bit different quality to it, no matter even if you're taking them right back to back, if, especially if you're out in the sun. The sun changes every second. So most of these, you will be good to just paste that preset right on there. But sometimes you are going to have to modify, lighten, bring out some color. I'll show you how to do that and I will show you how to sync one filter to all your photos. So make sure that the filter that you have on and the it is selected and then you're going to go and shift, hold it down and select them all. Go ahead and hit sync, make sure everything is checked and they will start syncing. Just like that. And like I said, you might want to, you know, tone up some light and color on these, but for the most part, they're pretty good to just paste. I've noticed that they work really well outside. These are probably more outside ones with natural lighting. As you can see here, this is too orange. So we're going to go ahead and make some adjustments to get what we want. And this is the fun part. This is where you get to experiment and change stuff and make it kind of your own preset after this. If you can hear my son screaming downstairs, he's playing Call of Duty, so don't mind that. Yeah, so there you go. So now I want to take that preset that I did and copy it. So Control C, Command C. See the next one, kind of the same thing. So I'm going to Command or Control V, paste it, boom, a little bit better. We'll mess with it for a second. But for the most part, this is the more closer lighting than the first ones.
So again, paste, control V, switch it up a little bit, control V, control V. Control V, Control V, and there you have it. That's how to download the presets and mess with them. So. All right, so here we go with our mobile presets, how to download, how to use. So you are most likely on my Instagram. You're going to hit that link tree bio link and it's going to take you to my link tree hit presets boom right there this will take you right to my presets obviously this is my first one so I hope you guys like it here's some you know original iPhone photos um, with the preset on it these were taken at the spiral jetty here in Utah so that's kind of where the name came from you're gonna to want to do do you have any questions um, I have a little FAQ section that has, you know, some questions that you might have. How to download, what happens when you do download, um, and I also provide um, my email address at the bottom. If you ever need anything, like email me and I'll make sure that you guys get taken care of. So add the bad boy to your cart. Again, check out. You can PayPal or manual check out. When you manual check out, you have to send either a Venmo to Shelby-Waterson or send me an email saying that you would like to um, pay with a major credit card, a Visa, MasterCard, Apple Pay, and I will invoice you $20. And once I receive your payment, either Venmo or your credit card, then that's when I will send you the preset. But make sure that you are filling out all your information here. The email is the email is very important. You need to make sure the email is where you want it to go. This is the email that you will receive. This is basically just saying we received your order and um, as soon as we get payment, we'll send you the download. Here is the second email that you will get once payment is received. This is where you will download. You can see the download button right there. This is a app I use. It's called Unzip on my phone. It's to unzip folders. Um, you can use it on your iPad and your phone. Now you are going to go into your Lightroom. There it is in your unzip. Get that first and second one uploaded. And if you guys don't know how to do this, down in the corner there is a little blue box with a picture plus and a camera. If you click on the left one with the picture plus, it says upload a file. This is where you will go and grab those files from unzip. And there they are. So they come in as photos. So you're going to want to go up to that three little button circle in the top right corner. And here you will copy settings. Make sure that everything is checked. Now that that is copied, you can go to one of your photos and paste the setting. Now here Again, this is just a kind of a base drop. You can, you know, adjust the temperature, adjust the shadows, the highlights, anything to really make sure that each photo gets the best quality uh, preset on it. And there's the first spiral jetty preset. Now I'm going to um, do the black and white one. So go to the black and white. Copy settings, make sure all of them are checked. Go back to your picture and paste setting. Remember the paste setting is the three button circle up at the top right corner. Again, switch it up, change it up, make it your own preset to the picture that you're making. And there you have it. 
kind of a moody dramatic black and white. I like it. So another cool thing is you can actually copy these settings. So go ahead and paste that setting. Go back up into that little circle thing and you're going to create a preset. Go ahead and name it Spiral Jetty. And make sure all of them are selected. Go grab the color one, copy. All the colors are checked. Paste it on your photo. Go back up to the three circles. Create preset. Spiral Jetty. And hit that check mark button. And that is it, guys. So these will be saved in your presets, user presets that you have down there. And the cool thing with this is you can click the picture right next to it hit previous and it does the previous preset. Previous, there it is again. So I hope this guy, this gave you guys, you know, a lot of good feedback um, on how to do the mobile preset. Again, my email is in um, the preset online. So feel free to reach out if you have any problems um, and, you know, read the FAQs if you have any, any questions, but that's how you're going to do it. Thank you for supporting me and thank you for supporting uh, my first preset. I'm pretty excited about it and I hope you guys enjoy it. Tag me in your presets that you use. I want to see them. Uh, you can do, I have two Instagram photography Instagrams. I have the She Photography Utah Boudoir and I have the She Photography Utah. And that one's just like my family, um, my family ones, uh, baby, seniors, kind of those ones. So tag me in either of them. I want to see them. And thank you again. And we will talk soon. Bye.